What is piggybacking? Piggybacking is when someone uses another person's wireless network, which is normally unsecured, to gain internet access without their knowledge or consent. It's not always used to gain internet access. It could be just to connect to their network, but most of the time people want to get free internet. This is also referred to as Wi-Fi squatting. Let's say you're on your mobile device and you're scanning for Wi-Fi networks in your area and you come across the following. You'll notice that those first two networks are secured because there's a padlock next to them, which means you need the password in order to gain access to those Wi-Fi networks. You would need to know the people so they can give you the password. However, that third network is unsecured. Now you might be tempted to connect to that network because you might think I can get free internet through that network. However, I would suggest against doing that for the following two reasons. Number one is that it is illegal in some countries to piggyback. A lot of countries are updating their rules and regulations about piggybacking, so you need to make sure that you are not doing something illegal. For example, there was a case in Singapore where a 70-year-old was fined just under $6,500 or three years in prison because they were piggybacking on their neighbor's Wi-Fi network. The other reason to not piggyback onto a network that you don't know, it could be dangerous. What do I mean? Well, if you are connecting to their network, that means they can connect to you. So maybe they are doing it deliberately to entice people to connect to their network so that they can gain access to your device and the files and data that is on your computing devices. However, that last network, that could be for a hotspot. A hotspot normally allow you to connect. How do you know if you're allowed to connect? Well, if it's a coffee shop, for example, then maybe you should be buying coffee from the coffee shop. They are wanting you to use their services in order to use their hotspot. So make sure that you're not doing anything unethical and just trying to connect to their network without using their services. What happens if you have your own wireless network and you want to prevent people from accessing your network illegally or without your knowledge or consent? You don't want anyone to piggyback onto your network. The best tip I can give you is, first of all, to set up a password on your network so that they need that password in order to connect to your network and also to change that password regularly, especially if you notice there's a lot of network traffic when you aren't using it. Then maybe someone has gained access to your network. Set up a password and change it regularly. I also recommend that you click on that subscribe button and share us with your friends so that we can help them as well. And every Thursday at 3, we will post a new computer term. Don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.